You've probably seen other services that offer a little feedback tab on the left or the right or the bottom of the site, and if a user clicks it, uh, they're asked to get feedback. But what separates Acme Feedback from those other kind of services is check this out. If I go to leave the site, you see the pop-up form pops up. So, you know, we're marketers first and foremost, and so we're always thinking of new ways that we can get to, uh, more information from our users to make a better product. But at the same time, we want to have another opportunity to sell to our clients. We also want to have them stay on the site longer, which gives us an opportunity to make more ad revenue, uh, collect more leads, and those kind of things. So what separates Acme Feedback from other services is that not only can you ask up to five questions here on the right-hand side, which rotate, you can also display any WordPress widget you want on the left hand side here. Now anything you can put into a WordPress widget you can put right here. You can even put multiple widgets in this little section here. So just imagine that you have a compelling YouTube video. Well you can have a YouTube video where it asks someone to fill out your simple survey and if they fill out the simple survey maybe they get a bonus at the end or a special offer of some sort. Uh, and you can also do a, a video where if you get the if they answer the question maybe you give them an ad to another product that's more relevant to them that they missed. You can also display your most popular posts on your site. You can display RSS feeds. You can display banner ads for any kind of banner here. Uh, anything that you can display in a WordPress widget, uh, you can display here. You can think of all the possibilities of all the things that you use widgets, widgets for these days, and you can display it right in this little section. Or even an opt-in form, you just display the opt-in form right in here along with the uh, question on the right-hand side here. Now, if someone answers a question here, I'm just going to type in some text, and they click on Submit. It'll go to the next question and they can answer that one as well and they click on this and it'll go to a, perhaps a multiple choice question because yes you can ask those as well uh, and then when they finally click the, the finish button it'll thank them for answering which you can fully customize and then you can then display any information you want here it can be an ad it could be a video it could be an opt-in form say hey thanks for answering how would you like to get more tips via my newsletter uh, enter your name and email here below uh, you can also display um, literally any HTML or JavaScript can be displayed there now this whole section here is fully customizable. You can change the border color and width. You can change the header. You can upload your own custom header graphic as well. The, the features are pretty much endless because you get to control what you want to put in here. I'm going to close this out here. So not only does that pop up on exit, but you can they can click on this and it'll pop up. And if they've already answered the question, then it would take them reloading the page for that, that whole box to pop up again. I'm going to show you the back end here and how fully customizable it is. So I'm in the plugin settings page. And here's where I can pick and choose what questions I want to display. If I only want to ask one question, I can just check one question and it will ask it. I can get all the responses sent immediately to my email address if I'd like. I can change the, uh, the name of the email and also the subject line of the email. I can control where I want the feedback tab settings to display, on the right or the left, or just totally disable them. I can choose how I want the exit feedback settings to display, on exit, on exit every visit, or I can disable them. This is where I control the thank you message and I can paste in my opt-in form code. So if you have Aweber, for example, or any opt-autoresponder service, you can just paste in the autoresponder form there. We have an affiliate program, so you can also add an affiliate link, which will appear at the bottom of the pop-up, and that way you can earn commissions every time someone pops up the browser. I'm sorry, pops up the uh, pop-up. You can also exclude pages or posts. So if you don't want the uh, pop-up to appear, uh, and even the feedback tab to appear on certain pages or posts, you just enter the page IDs here. We also have an option to allow users to skip questions. Perhaps you're finding that users aren't uh, answering all the questions, so maybe you have a skip function, and that will allow them to skip through the questions. But we leave that off by default. Here is the full customization panel. And once again, you can design it any way you want. You can change the title text, or you can change the header color right here. You can enter the URL of a header graphic to fully brand your form any way you want. You can select where you want the feedback tab form. Uh, black left, there's a black tab. There's uh, video, there's, I'm sorry, there's tabs that just say bonus video. There's tabs that just say click me or special offer. Or you can upload your own custom uh, a tab that will appear on your site. You can also change the submit button color, the background color, the text, the border color, the border size, the pop-up width, the pop-up height. And for advanced users, you can fully customize the template using the CSS. And then we have the questions. Here's where you can ask the questions. You can see that I have the sample questions in here. And actually, I can fix a little uh, typo mistake right there in the question. This allows you to do multiple choice. You just enter each answer by line. And you can do that here and there. And if you want to add more questions here, you can do that. And then when you're done answering the questions, you just pick and choose which ones you want to display on the settings page. And we have the results tab. This is where you can see all the answers that people submit. 
you can see when they submitted them you can see the IP address that it came from these are of course my test ones here because I'm logged in so if your users are logged into your account you actually see the username uh, here that will appear and if I click on that you can see where it says sample question and there's uh, answers that appear on here as well and I can go and delete that once I've read it if I would like and finally we have a preview form I won't bother clicking that because you've seen what it looks like but you can preview the, the, uh, the pop-up inside your browser <coughs> Okay, now you're wondering how much does this cost because you've seen these services before and they're pretty expensive and they actually have monthly fees usually. Let me show you some of these other competitors here. This is a user voice. If you click on their feedback pop-up, it pops up. And of course, they have a little more help desk features and stuff. But in essence, most people just want these feedback forms because they want to be able to collect user feedback from your site, right? Um, so what we do is we just have a one-time low fee, whereas they charge up to $125 a month for their feedback and a help desk. You can see it starts off with one user, user agent and then $15 a month, $45 per month, and $95 per month for their system. There is Get Satisfaction, which you've probably seen as well. And on Get Satisfaction, you can see that they start at $19 per month and go up to $99 per month. And then also there is a service called Campile. You can see they charge $499 per month uh, to use their feedback service. So I click on this. We'll pop this up. And this is what their little feedback form looks like. Um, and of course, they, these other services have other features. Some have integrated help desks, but we think that most people just want to really want to be able to collect information from their visitors, which they can easily digest. And at the same time, they want to be able to maybe sell them on something else, so generate a lead, uh, generate a, a affiliate sale, uh, or keep them on their site longer for SEO purposes. Because the longer someone stays on your website, Google notices that and they give you a little extra Google juice. So unlike these other services, Acme Feedback has no recurring fee. It's a low one-time cost. You can use it on all your websites. You can see our money-back guarantee below. And so install it, uh, check it out, try it out, see how it works for you, keeping people on your site, up, upselling them to other offers, uh, collecting leads, and most importantly, getting feedback that you can instantly use to apply to your business to generate more sales, which is really what it's all about. <clears throat> so thanks for your time, and check out the order link below, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Thanks.